Welcome back. Flying in a plane sets off a series of anxieties in a lot of travelers, especially inexperienced ones. But is there anything that you should really be worrying about? Joining us now, our Doc on Call, Dr. Ryan Stanton, here to answer this week's viewer question from Bobby. And she asks, I'm traveling soon and have never been on a commercial airplane. I'm very nervous. Please help put me at ease on the safety of flying as a doctor and a pilot. You're the perfect person to ask, Dr. Stanton. Well, Bobby, good news for you. Commercial flying is still the safest mode of transportation out there that you can pick. Mm -hmm. And yet, flying is a consistent fear among travelers. In fact, it's reported that about 40% of passengers have a significant fear of being in a plane crash. Now, I'm sure the idea of being six miles in the air and not in control contributes, but honestly, there's a little we do on a daily basis that is safe as strapping into a commercial flight. You know, locally, we have some extra trepidation after the crash of Flight 5191, so I understand that. But that type of accident is incredibly rare. So let's look at some of the numbers we're dealing with here. You basically have a 1 in 11 million chance of dying in a commercial plane crash. That comes to about one crash for every 1.2 million flights, which means you would have to fly every day for 55,000 years before you would stati statistically experience a crash. To put that into perspective, the risk of dying in an automobile accident is 1 in 5,000, making it 2,200 times more likely than the plane crash itself. Okay, so... <laughs> Fly daily for 55,000 years yes. to experience a crash. That is very telling, and, and conversely, cars, just one in 5,000 chance of death. Okay, so um, I know a lot of people, their fears come from the turbulence that you sometimes experience mm -hmm. in the air. Um, there's the white knuckles during takeoff often, Absolutely. but the turbulence midair is what really kind of sets people off. How dangerous is that? Well, even as me, as somebody who flies quite a bit, you know, the turbulence can, can scare you, especially that clear air turbulence, but it's rarely dangerous. Airplanes are made to withstand even the most severe forces of air. In fact, I, some planes can actually have flexion of their wings up to 90 degrees, and there's not been a crash associated with turbulence since the 1960s. That's not to say that the folks inside the plane don't have some risk. The plane's going to do just fine. You're still more likely to get injured and killed sitting on your couch, but every year a few dozen folks will suffer injuries in turbulence. The majority of those are the crew, the flight attendants that are up and about mm -hmm. uh, helping you out, especially, um, especially in that rough air. But there's only been three deaths since 1980 of passengers. Two of those actually had their seat belts off despite notification to keep the seat belt fastened. The key here is to heed warnings and to keep those belts fastened when not up and about within the cabin and stay down as much as you can, especially if it starts to get turbulent, especially if they inform you that it's going to be turbulent. In the end, you don't need to fear flying. In fact, once you finish your drive to the airport and walk to the gate, the most dangerous part of the trip is done. Okay. So yeah, scariest part of your trip is driving there and driving back. It can be it can be scary, but just it, it's safe out there. And honestly, it's those folks that are behind the wheel right now on their cell phones, um, missing those traffic lights that are actually going to put you at higher risk. And I know a lot of people they'll hear the weird sounds before takeoff. You know, when they're putting the baggage in and closing everything mm -hmm. up, and uh, you know the pilots are checking everything, going through their systems checks. There's some weird noises associated with it. They're normal, and Absolutely. it's all part of their very extensive maintenance list that they have to go through before each flight. Well, if you knew how much safety and how much time went into keeping those planes uh, inspected and the things that they have to go through, you'd feel very comfortable. Basically, it would be like saying that every single time you go on a long trip in your car, when we come back, we're going to send it to the uh, mechanic and let them run through the entire thing. So the, the safety uh, associated with airplanes, especially commercial airplanes, is really incredible. And if you know how much communication is out there, how far you separate these planes from each other, and the type of technology that's taking place right now to keep us safe in the air, it's very impressive. And you don't yeah. really know that when you're sitting back there seeing if you can sneak an extra bag of peanuts right. or a diet, diet soda. Um, but it is. It's all working together to keep you, you safe. And if you think about how many people basically two and a half times the population of the United States flies in the United States every single year. Over mm -hmm. 800 million people yeah. hit the air every single year. Yeah, and as the child of a longtime airline employee, I've been able to take a lot of flights and I can tell you, safe as can be, the scariest thing that has ever happened is hitting turbulence when you're in the lavatory. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It's not made for turbulence in there. No, it's not. Just hang on tight. Mm -hmm. right. Thanks so much, Dr. Thank Stanton. You. If you have a question for him, you can go to his Facebook page. Just search for Stanton MD and you can ask a question there. We're back with more right after this.